Good evening, everyone. You've just had the results of the INI Super Speciality 2024 exam. And I'm really, really happy today to introduce and have with me Dr. Vimal Dubaria. Uh, he has secured an, an AIMS merit list rank of three for in DIEM clinical hematology. So welcome, Dr. Vimal, to the forum. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for the introduction. Most importantly, Vimal, can you tell the audience or the students as to where did your undergraduation from, post-graduation from, and most importantly, why did you choose or want, want or wish to enter here clinical hematology? Sir, I did my MBBS from GMERS Medical College, Imat Nagar, and then I uh, I am currently doing my post-graduation in MD Medicine at Sir BJMC M Davasa. And, um, and why did you enter hematology? You know, why why do you want to do this field? It's not as sir, lucrative I, as cardio gastro. Sir, I'm quite not sure about the branch uh, till uh, till the second year. Then I then I had participated in uh, national ISHBT uh, uh, quiz, and then I got uh, interest uh, in uh, hematology. And also I had seen. Uh, many interesting uh, cases uh, in hematology and I was uh, very fascinated about uh, hematology. So I will. Excellent. Every year one quiz aspirant from the national hematology quiz of the postgraduates does enter into hematology and I'm glad you, it's you this time. Yes. So the most important thing and the most difficult thing which I feel is preparing during residency and I wanted to ask that you've secured a DM seat before you finished your MD internal medicine which is a very very rare accomplishment and to be honest it's very difficult so most importantly Vimal uh, how did you do your preparation during your MD days it's very difficult to juggle between work and studies so how did you go about it and what was your uh, mental plan during the last year or the the last two years of your MD residency for your DIEM preparation? Sir, uh, my uh, primary source for uh, preparation is uh, Edison and uh, Mero only. And uh, I had participated in the hematology quiz. So I had completed uh, uh, hemato most of the hematology in the, uh, from your videos in sir, uh, my second year. And then in third year, uh, I had uh, only watched the uh, of the medicine videos, so sir, uh, and uh, then I know that I am eligible for uh, this uh, INI SS uh, session, and then I started uh, preparing for the hematology uh, around two months ago. So, if you, if any student asks you how many months of preparation for, for you know hematology would be sufficient if somebody is in final year or maybe just passed out and wishes to do. Super speciality. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, around sir, uh, three to four months of uh, preparation are, are uh, uh, enough for the preparation. If uh, one can uh, 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 get some uh, time uh, about the duties. Sir. Uh, and approximately, how many hours every day you were you were able to contribute to your studies? Sir, around sir, six to seven hours uh, every day, and on the weekend uh, uh, days, I can give uh, more many hours. And, right. So you know, many students ask me this: whether it is important to do, to study, you know, hematology textbook if you are studying for entrance. Uh, while I advise many of them not to go towards it because it will, you know sort of it's it's good for knowledge but it is probably not required for entrance examination so what is the thought if you do does one really need to study these super specialty textbooks for entrance examinations for dm sir i i would also suggest that uh, not to study from uh, textbook uh, because uh, uh, revision is the most uh, important thing and uh, without uh, crisp and clear notes uh, it is uh, not uh, possible to read uh, the textbook again and again, sir. 
so uh, um, um, it is not advisable to uh, do in and with respect to your ina exam this time step one questions were a sort of mixed bag of some factual questions and some conceptual questions so what is your take on the step one questions and how many did you attempt and what was the difficulty level sir i did attempt uh, sir 79 question out of the 80 question and uh, difficulty is around sir uh, 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 moderate level sir uh, and uh, most of the question are uh, basics and uh, uh, other questions are uh, factual based and uh, uh, there is some question on uh, prognostic uh, prognosis and and most of the questions are covered in your notes sir. so it is a uh, very doable uh, and uh, when you got qualified after step one we did have a small webinar on the step two preparation so what was your take on that webinar did it help you and if yes in what way it is sir uh, very very helpful and uh, i want to sir uh, thank you for that uh, that session sir uh, you had given sir a uh, whole uh, sir blueprint uh, for the interview and um, uh, they asked sir uh, same question about sir uh, thesis and uh, supporters are al also same sir and uh, they had asked uh, uh, what patient uh, you see in emergency and so sir i have already prepared for that sir. so my interview is sir uh, will be called sir it is sir very very helpful so while preparing you used to make your own notes or uh, or the matter notes were uh, more than sufficient do you feel they were sufficient for you during preparation yes sir uh, marrow notes are uh, more than sufficient sir and uh, uh, factual points i i did sir uh, uh, write uh, in uh, an, another uh, note and uh, i from uh, from the mero notes only and i will i revise them uh, again and again sir so that helped me it's the most important step in any interest is to revise whatever you can because new knowledge will always come and go unless you you are really clear in what you've already studied it it will not give you better results uh okay. most importantly uh women do you have any message for a future aspirants who are on the verge of giving an entrance exam especially the dm ones or are thinking of giving an entrance exam when they are in the during middle of their empty days yeah, yes sir if uh, one uh, wanted uh, to uh, give hematology exam then uh, uh, it is quite uh, sir uh, interesting and uh, interesting branch and evolving branch and uh, for the preparation um, uh, uh, you uh, if if one can thorough with the uh, medicine knowledge then uh, uh, hematology uh, 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 is doable sir and not then also you know in in hematology and oncology is one of those special fields where every year some new drug comes into picture some monoclonal antibody will come which was not there last year and will probably change the paradigm in the next few years. Yes. So, how were you able to keep yourself about late, uh, you know, abreast about the latest advances, which is very important for hematology? Sir, on uh, this session also, they asked about uh, sir uh, two drugs. Uh, one drug for uh, sir chronic uh, GVHD and uh, one from uh, DLBCL. Uh, I had sir uh, uh, seen uh, in sir any GM article so. Uh, uh, if the new drugs come, then we have to thorough with that uh, recent advances. Uh, and uh, other drugs are sir, covered uh, in uh, already in sir, your videos. So, sir, no need to worry. Okay. Thank you, Vimal. That was an excellent discussion with you. And I'm so glad and happy to know that a candidate has secured a DMC during its residency. Uh, I just like to say to everybody who is watching this, it is it is possible to do this, and you if you just determine to do it, the day in and day out of small amount of studies also, it is certainly doable. 
nothing is impossible. Sir, again, sir, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.